whole of the CW membership, nearly 4,000 members across the post office are on strike together. This is the first time that we've had Crown members on strike, <coughs> admin members on strike and members from supply chain on strike as well. But it's also unique today in that our comrades from Unite, the branch managers, the managers in the cash centres and depots are also on strike. Royal Mail has been privatised, the post office hasn't, it's still a public service and that's what we want it to remain. But at the moment what they're tending to do is just slash and cut it, uh, giving it to WH Smiths when there's no discussion with the public about it, it's just a, you know, a public service that is being taken away and uh, being given to companies to reap rewards on. Royal Mail has been privatised, um, which is basically where your delivery postmen and postwomen come from, they sort the mail and they deliver it. Um, the Crown Post Office and the Post Office it haven't been privatised, that's still uh, under government uh, ownership. So the dispute that you're uh, seeing That's today right. and witnessing today uh, is in the hands of not only uh, the post office management but it's also in the hands of government as well. We've seen a huge wave of closures of local sub-post offices. My local one was closed, there's a number closed a few years ago and we were told that all the services were being consolidated here but now this one's under threat so you know privatisation doesn't work for us. Every Saturday morning Michael and I come down to the post office from 11 to 12 and collect signatures against its closure because we believe it's a really important public service that people need it especially the elderly for example to get their pensions and so on. And this is a Crown Post Office, so it's a really good one, where the staff are trained properly and paid properly, and we really value it. If anything, we need a bigger one because it's always full. And everybody that comes past cannot believe that it's going to close. From a North London point of view, we've got Crouch End, Muzzle Hill, Lower Edmonton, Finsbury Park, they're all on the list, but we haven't been, and they've been on that list since January, but we haven't been told if, there's, if they've got a their so called retail partner. The model that the post office have is to put them into shops. They've done a deal with uh, WH Smith, so most post offices are now going into the back of WH Smith. If the offices do close, they sort of say you can go into the, uh, might, might get opportunities to go into the, the sub offices or franchise offices, but it's on a lot less money. These people, once they go into WH Smith, they, they're no longer on the same terms and conditions as the post office members. We ain't going to be able to represent them, they will become an employee of WH Smith and uh, you end up getting staff that haven't been trained or, or provided in the same, or services themselves won't be there in WH Smith and then that's, that is a loss. We've just had our pension statement through and on a personal note my projected loss is about six grand a year which is a hell of a, hell of a lot of money which sort of uh, most people would afford to lose. The scheme is between 100 and 130 million pounds in surplus. There is still money there to pay pension benefits. They wanted to transfer the pension to an insurance company. And they wanted to use the surplus in the pension scheme to pay for that transfer to an insurance company. And that's, that money is not theirs. That money is our members' money, and they can keep their hands off it. The post office have been doing dirty tricks here. I'll just give you some example. They've been desperate to break the willpower of our members, absolutely desperate to break the strike. What have they been doing? They've said to our members in supply chain, at the end of the transition programme, we'll give you £3,000. Very generous of them. But they said, if you go on strike, you lose that £3,000. That was the first threat. The next threat they said to anybody leaving uh, on redundancy, voluntary redundancy in supply chain, you lose your pylon payment. That's pay in lieu of notice. For some members, that's about £8,000. And they've been saying to members, you go on strike, you lose your day's pay, but you lose that pilot as well. They're also trying to say to people, oh, your redundancy payments will be reduced considerably if you go on strike. What this represents is everything that's been wrong for a number of years in this country particularly. Short-termism, cheap, outsourcing, worst forms of employment models. That's what we're seeing, that's what we're fighting in this dispute. The government itself, who owns it, isn't saying we shouldn't have a post office. They're just saying what we want to do is shove it in the back of somebody else's job and staff it with the worst possible kinds of employment models. Post offices across the globe were, were born out of the Great British Post Office. Yet the only country in the world where the mails and the retail are separate, two distinct organisations, is the UK. Absolutely bizarre that the, uh, the coalition government done that. I and mean, without the support of Royal Mail, 
the process is going to flounder and that's why there needs to be a, a new solution. If you look around the country at the moment, you know, it is crying out for some kind of infrastructure that could be used to develop small businesses, could be used to develop regionally um, some of the areas that need investment. The post office could be a partner in the infrastructure banks of this country. Is it too far a leap for us to say the post office could become a national credit union, run through the post office offering loans on fair terms, on decent terms, to everybody in this country who wants it? That's the future that we could start to push for the post office. We could end the whole question of financial exclusion uh, that happens in this country. Millions of people who can't get access to banking services. The post office could be the people's bank. <coughs>